In this video, I'm going to show you the perfect passing concept in Madden 23. This concept spaces the field really, really well against a plethora of defenses. It's going to give you the ability to beat man coverage as well as zone coverage and even match coverage as well. Now, if you want to dive fully into this uh, formation, we're going to be in the gun bunch today. We're going to be talking about uh, out of the Washington Commanders Offensive Playbook. If you're watching this and you want to get my full Washington Commanders Offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is going to be in the description. It's just $10. It'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So the play we're going to be going over today is actually uh, one of my favorite plays. I think you could find a very similar uh, concept in the Pittsburgh Steelers bunch, which is growing in popularity. We also have an ebook on that in the patreon but the play is cross uh here this is a really 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 good concept out of bunch for a lot of reasons uh but i'm going to show you one of my favorite variations and favorite ways to uh run this play so what i actually like to do with this is have my bunch to the short side you can have it on either hash mark though um it's going to be fine either way but what this is going to do is this fade route on the left side is really really good especially if your receiver has the short out elite ability uh, real quick one of the things that's kind of growing in popularity across the Madden community right now is if they have short out elite and they're on a fade something like this a lot of times they're gonna light up you saw that he lit up we're gonna just basically highball and free form it to the outside and it's a potential one play touchdown if, if they don't have any safety help so as you can see it's one of the best plays in the game for press man to man so what this is going to do is it's going to force them to back off this left side receiver. Now, if they back off the receiver, there's some other things that you can do, but we'll leave the fade for right now. Um, and then our setup here, you don't have to have Hot Route Master. You don't have to have anything. All you're going to do is put Cooper Cup on a slant. And then what I like to do is take Taysom Hill and put him on an out route. You can leave him on this, um, this block and rele release flat. But this out route gets pretty good separation against man coverage, especially if you do have uh, the short and elite ability on him. So we're going to have pretty good success against man to man with this play. And then the other thing that I want to show you um, about man coverage is this uh, route to uh, Steve Smith is one of the better man beating routes in the game, especially again, short and elite. If you're trying to beat man to man coverage in Madden, you want to have either short and elite or short out elite on as many people as possible. We're at the point in the game where you can have a short out elite, three short and elites for zero AP and mutt. Um, so in regs, route tech is fine. Uh, slot matic is great right if you wanted to add some different abilities but really i think short in short out are the most consistent abilities to beat man cooper cup is also going to beat man coverage as you see right here and so basically what we're doing with this concept is we're putting the user in a position where the user has to basically decide am i going to take away the crosser or am i going to take away the slant route in this example i'll show you what it looks like if they choose to go tar uh, target the crossing route what you're going to see here is now Cooper Cup, once he gets past that little hook zone, is going to separate over the middle of the field really, really well. If they choose to defend Cooper Cup, then your crosser is going to have a pretty decent chance of success. So in this example, you'll see that Cooper Cup is by and large defended, but it's going to leave open this route to Steve Smith, potentially this route to Debo Samuel over the top. And we're just going to freeform that down and away from the, the defender. As you can see, really simple uh, progression. Now, as I said in the beginning, this play also attacks zone coverage really, really well because we're going to basically have a high-low on the right and the left. So uh, what we're going to do with this is the exact same setup. And our first read against zone coverage, we always want to look to the flat. If we can hit that, we're going to take it. Here we can't, but we can hit this crosser, right? And again, they're going to kind of be in the same situation uh, that they were previously in the fact that they're going to probably, uh, generally speaking, just kind of knowing how they use her in this game, uh, how people like to use her in this game, uh, one of the things they're going to do is they are going to say, okay, you're not going to throw the crosser, right? I'm not going to let you just sit back and throw the crosser for 20 yards. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to throw this slant, which is fine, right? Um, we're going to look here. Okay, they go to the crosser. We're going to wait on this slant to kind of get in this little pocket, and we can throw that with a little outside pass lead and put it in a spot where only our receiver can catch the football. So as you can see there, we're able to attack zone uh, really, really, really well with this concept. 
Now, I also said in the beginning that this play is really good against match coverage as well. In 3-3 Cub, Cover 4 Show 2 is going to play uh, very similarly to Cover 4 Quarters. And so if you'll check out how this play is going to work, typically your motion slant um, is going to be really, really open against match. So you'll see right here. Um, you see there, oh, that time it was my, actually my crosser that got open. Um, but again, you're kind of putting them in the same, um, kind of same predicament that we're putting them in against zone, really against everything. It's kind of, what, what makes this play so good is it's, 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 it's a play that's going to beat everything. And it's honestly going to beat everything in kind of a similar way. So your progressions are fairly straightforward. So again, here, if I'm the user and I say, okay, I'm not letting you guard, I'm not letting you throw this crossing route, right? I'm going to take away the crossing route. Then if you'll watch here, you're going to see that this slant is going to have leverage to the inside for easy separation. Wide receiver cross is one of the best plays in Madden every single year, but especially this year because of how predominant the game is a man coverage meta. And if you have a really good uh, receiver on the outside, someone that has short out elite, it can make it a it can make it a really big play because they're going to drop zones and stuff to try to defend your crosser and your slant. And so once they start to take stuff like that away, then there's no safety help over the top and you could potentially have Debo Samuel one-on-one -on -one in a press situation where you can beat the defense pretty easily. I wanna thank you for watching this video. If you wanna get more on the Washington Offensive eBook, make sure you join our Patreon. That's where you'll get access to all of my Madden eBooks, all of my updates to those eBooks. We're dropping a brand new one this week. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.